Hi guys, solar rocker time. One of the old rocking flowers, flapping flowers. I have repaired this at some time in the past, at least once, maybe even twice. Um, normally sits up in our bedroom window. I don't remember what color it was originally, but it's quite faded. And this pattern is just a plastic um, skin. But when last time I repaired it, I had to slit it down the back and just put a bit of sticky tape over it to hold it together. Oh, I better tell you what's wrong with it. Um, it doesn't flap and I can see inside there one of the little pegs that goes across is broken. And I think that might have been the repair last time. I might have actually just super glued it back together. So we'll have a look. We'll take this off carefully. We'll be able to put it back on again. And having got that off, we can just separate it here. Now, I think the first time I had to separate it, I probably had to use a bit of extra force because I think it had been glued. But hopefully, when I put it back together, I didn't glue it. I just pushed it back on its little posts. Hopefully. Yeah, that is coming apart. And I'm hoping we can find the little broken post and maybe glue it back on again. There it is. So, if you've never seen inside one before, there are lots and lots of videos on the subject. Um, I've done lots. If you want to know exactly how they work. Big Clive did a good um, teardown video explaining to you what the different bits do. I basically just got a black blob chip there or cob circuit on board which controls the power going to the coil and the power coming from the solar panel. And the only other bit you can see is a capacitor just there. So you've got two very fine wires go across to the coil. And two, in this case, green wires going up to the solar panel. Directly across where the green wires terminate is that capacitor, which is an electrolytic. 470 microfarads, 10 volts. The actual flapping mechanism on that leaf, we actually have the magnet. On that leaf, I don't think we have a magnet. I think we just have a bit of metal that the magnet um, magnetically couples to so that they swing. And then I think there's a bit of metal in the, um, yeah, the central flower as well. Well, there's just a screw there, which again will be affected by the magnet. So they're all coupled together and they would swing nicely. Except, as I say, one of the posts is broken. Just there. So, that bit there needs to go back on there. And that will be job done if we can get it to glue back on. Now, 
Now it's going to be a bit awkward to work on, so we might be able to just lift that off. Right now, you can see the little posts set in little rocking slots. I lift them out one at uh, can I lift them out one at a time? Not easily because they're interlinked. If I put it down, now we're going to have to lift off the other side as well. Right, solar panel covered in dust, but then these just lift straight up if you're lucky. We have to tilt that one to get it through the slot. Right, that's the one that's broken just there. Which I will try and glue straight back on. Right, so that one pivots like that. That one pivots on the middle position. Put that back in there. Yeah, that one swings free. But because it's got that screw in it, that's just enough magnetism to be affected by that magnet swinging underneath. And then this one it's that pivot there that makes that one flap up and down. So the magnet is pushed by the coil. So that one would go up and down like that. Because that peg is in that hole there, that makes that one go up and down. And just the magnet moving itself, reacting with that screw there, that is enough to make that one move as well. So they move all in opposite directions. And as I say, what we want to try and do is see if we can get that glued back on there, which I think I've done before. And super glue sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. The alternative would be to try and drill it out drill right the way through and replace that with um, possibly even a little metal rod to do the job. You'd have to get your drill very accurate. So we'll try and just glue it. And because I will probably curse and swear, I'll try and do it off camera and then show you if it's done. Well, that's it, super glued back in place. I don't think that'll have very much strength at all. But it doesn't need a great deal of strength as long as nobody tries to pick the uh, f solar flower up by the petal or leaf, it will actually be okay. But if it does break again, we're going to have to look at cutting it off cleanly and drilling the hole straight through and then putting probably a metal pin through there. Do I even dare touch it? Well, that's on there. I used ordinary cheap Poundland super glue. But I did use that stuff as a kicker to make it 
go off quickly. So, can we get it back together without breaking it? Get that on there. And that's got to go. <laughs> if you're trying to see what I'm doing, I apologize. My hands are going to be well in the way. Right, that's through. Right, halogen light. There we go. Fixed for now. That's not going to be very strong, but it is fixed. And we get it back together again. In you go. Okay. This one. It's around the outside. I don't know if there's any. Yes, there is a this little slot down there. And there's a peg there to line it up with. There we go. I'll put a bit of tape down the back there. And we're back again. Job done. So that's not going to be a very strong repair. I might have to drill it out and put a proper peg all the way through. But that's what I did last time, and I think it's lasted for a few years, so that's not bad. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, 
leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.